Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss a second problem on the reflux klystron, which is also used to calculate the efficiency and the total output power. And again, total total output power when there is a 20 percent drop in the input voltage. So very easy. Just we know the formula. That's it. So what are the given values? A reflux klystron operating at peak. Of n is equal to 1 or 3 by 4 mode. Okay, we can call that n is equal to 1 from the spiral chart. We can understand that at this uh, uh, mode n is equal to 1, 3 by 4 mode, which is also known as 3 by 4 mode, because when we are going away from the uh, 0 point on the axis, it will be 3.4, 1, 3 by 4, 2, 3 by 4, 4, 3 by 4, like that. Each mode is corresponding to 1, 2, 3, 4 on, on x axis. So for that first we need to calculate the efficiency of this reflux klystron. So efficiency we know that formula efficiency eta is equal to output power to the input power. So first one is efficiency. Efficiency. So first one as efficiency we know that it is indicated by eta. That is equal to direct formula 2x dash j of x dash divided by 2 pi n minus pi by 2 that is equal to and here we should know what is x dash we should know what is x dash x dash is nothing but is the ratio of the voltages output uh, voltage to the applied input voltage but with a twist here 2 into theta naught dash into theta naught dash so the ratio which is given as we know that we know that v1 by v naught is equal to ratio this ratio is given 2.5 2.0.278 uh, 0.278 and we know that the theta naught dash is also 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4. So now what is x naught x dash x dash is equal to this value 1 by 2 into 0 0.278 into what is this 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4 that is equal to 0 point after simplification of this value 0 0.6550 0 0.6550 0 0.6550 okay uh, now you add this particular value of x dash from the table of this Bessel's function table we can have the values all values are predetermined experimental values that we need to consider for this value of x 0 0.655 okay so eta is equal to eta is equal to 2 into x dash which is uh, nothing but 0 0.6550 into j1 into x dash so after substituting those values it is 0 0.2 divided by 2 pi into 1 minus pi by 2 because n is equal to one we have assumed that now after simplifying this value just uh, normally we can get uh, 0 0.0848 so eta is equal to 8.48 8.48 percent Okay, we can write this equation in terms of normal or numerical values or you can terms in terms of percentage value. Now, B. What is the second question? What is the second question? Find the total output power. Very easy. If you know the total output power, even we can calculate the efficiency again or input power. So, Efficiency eta is equal to P output by 
efficiency p output by p input so efficiency p output by p input which is nothing but output output power what is output power pac what is input power pdc so you can write the expression for the um, eta or efficiency that you can write simply it's a ratio of output power to the input power or you can also simply say output power is an alternating signal but the input power is a constant signal which we are applying onto this signal so that's why pac by pdc which is a ac input voltage which is generated at the output based on the rf output voltage and pdc is nothing but the applied dc input voltage two types of dc voltage are applied but based on the accelerating anode voltage only the current is generated because the beam of electrons are completely responsible for the application of the anode input voltage that's why pdc is due to the applied accelerating voltage and pac is nothing but the generated rf output signal power now from this we can write p out is equal to eta into pdc okay pdc is nothing but input to power input power is given where is the input power input power is given the dc input power is the dc input power is how much 40 milliwatts so that you need to write here therefore p out or you can say it is pac is equal to pac is equal to eta eta value is given 0 0.848 into 40 milliwatts 40 into 10 power minus 3 watts so that is equal to 3.392 into 10 power minus 3 watts or 3.392 3.392 milliwatts this is what the ac power or we can say it is output power now the third case is power delivered to the load when there is a drop a 20 percent in the drop okay see the third statement if 20 percent of the power delivered by the electron beam is dissipated in the cavity walls find the power delivered to the work now 20 percent of the power has been lost because of the walls that you need to eliminate from the total power so power delivered power delivered to the load that is given as p out into only 80 percent of that voltage is that power is there remaining 20 percent is lost that is equal to what is that output power just now we have calculated 0 0.392 into 80 by 100 but this 3.392 which is a milliwatt so into 10 power minus 3 you can write these two at the same place you can write like this also so after simplification you will be having the value as 2.7132 into 10 power minus 3 this is the power delivered after the reduction of 20 percent in the generated power or a beam of electrons dissipating the power okay this is what you can write it as p out therefore p out is equal to what is that p out 2.7136 milliwatts okay this is the second problem in the next video i will explain the third problem which is used to calculate the what is that we can calculate gap transit angle okay in the third uh, problem we can we are going to see the gap transit angle that means theta g we need to calculate that we will tell in the third problem okay so the power calculations are very important and easy also just out uh, efficiency if we know we can relate simply using this efficiency output power and input power or we can say it is the uh, ac power to the dc power okay so uh, we have calculated with respect to the calculation of efficiency 
later we have calculated the output power and later we have calculated the power delivered to the load when there is a loss of 20% in the cavity walls okay